Yep. Yeah. Commander the QIS. Yep. Commander. Please let me know. Um, it could also be an opportunity for one of your agencies to actually have a look at what happens before your agency turns up on site. So that's a consideration for your office in charge and whatnot. Um, the train's going to head out shortly. So anyone that is catching a lift out with the train, please come and see us. We want to make sure that you're going and we've got you all on. Other than that, I want to check with the officers in charge, your contact details. Six volunteers to be patient. Yes, Greg, David Lager here, sudden down steam railway. Okay, exercise, 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 emergency, emergency, emergency. We have a coach detached from the train. Uh, we have a passenger underneath the train. We have a small child, looks like being, has been dragged along by the train. And we have some uh, minor injuries internally in the coach. Yeah, so exercise, exercise is about 10 minutes in and organised chaos reigns unfortunately. So, and we've probably got another 10 minutes until emergency services arrive. So this will be a real test for our volunteers to see how they adapt to an uh, unknown situation that is not part of our normal business. Where's all these emergency services? Oh, I've got injured people in here. We need some assistance. Diane, Diane they are on their way. Good. We've got in touch with them. Great. Good. Well, we've got uh, to get some help to these people. What we've got to watch out for is we've got people started to wander. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, I'll keep everyone in here safe. <laughs> And we're situated between 257 and 258.3 at the junction with the little side road. Yeah. 
Good roll. He'll take care of that, right? Yeah. 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 Well, as you can see, everyone's on, on site. Um, we've essentially handed over all the passengers to uh, emergency services and uh, Queensland Rail's on site and we're liaising with them about where we go to from here. So it's still an evolving situation, about one hour in, oh, we're only about half an hour Have into you got it. any estimation of casualties? Uh, casualties at this stage, we've got several um, deceased, uh, several serious injuries being attended uh, to, but fortunately only a small number on the train. Yeah, at the moment we've, um, we now have 10 casualties, uh, unfortunately three have deceased, um, four are in a critical condition and um, we have some with some minor injuries as well, so SES and QFES are doing a final sweep of the scene right now to make sure that there's no other patients. Other side be easier to get the body up from the other side. We'll be able just to lay a backboard under there where Noah is. Um, he grabs the legs, slides slide onto it the up. backboard. I'll be able to flatten it out. Yeah, let's do that. Eh? Go get him there. Backboard. Proceed to the area to ensure there are no other unaccounted for persons over. Do you want somebody on the other side or not? Okay. Probably would have been done. Yep, it's all good. It's totally brown up there, but I don't know where he's now. Right, okay, the sweep's clear. Clear. Both directions. Yep. Here's the commander to QAS. Yep, commander. We've completed the exercise. Um, the fire brigade have said they've reached all their objectives, same with the ambulance. So we're now calling the exercise to a close. 
um, we'll now pack up the train and head back and have a debrief. So I think everyone's enjoyed their day. You can see everyone starting to socialise now here. Uh, but really a huge thanks to everyone being involved. What about, what about from you? Oh mate, this is a great exercise. No, we need to do this more often. So yeah, it's just with the amount of um, organising and logistics that go into it. If we set another one up for two years or something like that, we'll try yeah. and get a date really, really early. Yeah, yeah. And okay. hook it in with the uni students and whatnot mm. and, and, and get all the players. What do you want to achieve out of it? How yeah. big do you want the exercise to be? Mm. The spots like this are easy to use. Yeah. What are the bits you want to achieve that are different? Do you want to do a vertical in? Well, we'll find a cutting yeah. somewhere in the Warwick region so we can do it. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's good getting all the ROCs in oh, as yeah. well from different areas because yeah, yeah. we run into all your different areas. Mm, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So no, one day you're going to be first on scene, aren't you? Oh, yeah, it'll happen. And, and it will be like this. We'll have one or two cars to respond to it initially. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we're going to rely on Toowoomba to come down and it's going to be that filled. Um, yeah. It's going to take a while to get everybody here. Thank you so much for what you've done, mate. No, no, Appreciate thank you. It. Thanks, thanks for the invite. Yeah, no, always a pleasure. Say yes, yes. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Ooh. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you get enough? You said you were taking three. Well, you know. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So if I didn't well, get one piece of money, I would have. Alright guys, can we start breaking everything down? Hey guys, thank you very, very much for being involved with the Steam Railway Perspective. We greatly appreciate it um, coming and supporting the day, especially the orange. Um, yellow, well, you guys are lime. And, and look, it, without your support, this wouldn't have happened today, so thank you so much from all of us. Okay? Yeah, thank you. I'd just like to add, some of the challenges that we could have in a scenario like that, like getting that engine driver out of the carriage, the guys were talking about and saying, getting it down from that height in a narrow opening down through a stretcher would have taken a lot of personnel to assist us there, maybe even ladder slides. Um, if there was limbs underneath the wheels of the train, chocking the train, getting 50 tonne bottle jacks or airbags to lift the carriage up to get those limbs out. So these are the other challenges that could happen in a scenario like this. But yeah, thanks from the fire service perspective, all those that assisted, and for Southern Downs Team Railway and QRL representatives for making this available and this opportunity today. Appreciate it.